and our brand new frozen treats. But we'll be wading through the fudge to look at the story of two students crushed under the weight of free toppings. Stick around. Tuition fees may be spent on administrative bonuses. about the flowers on campus this autumn. Where have they gone? Why aren't they here anymore? Didn't there used to be flowers over there? These are just some of the many questions posed by concerned, botanically inclined students. Pinned for comment, the lead groundskeeper referenced the seasons. Breach, please change your passwords. Sorry.
intruders on campus. You know what to do. story of two students who are finding news of the campus supermarket's new ice creams difficult to swallow. That's right, Ben and Sarah used to go out to the green, their hearts full of gumption, their cool box full of lollies. But it's not been the same since Campus Supermarket opened its Sunday bar and shaved ice station. They were just a couple of students looking to make some honest money in the harsh summer heat. But business has cooled off lately. As for the lollies, well, they're melting now. Spare a thought for them the next time you're enjoying a fudge Sunday buy one get one free all day, Wednesday, at the Campus Supermarket. Fliss, back to you. There's a fly in here. The campus has opened a new building. Good for us. The summer is a good time to relax and prepare for next year. Results have been released. Luck won't help you now. Breakfast can be hard for us all. Toast again? Ugh. I hate it here! Uh-oh, give those heckling kids something new to chew on. Wow. Oh 
Honey Hog Log cereal combines four times of wheat with a salty crunch of crispy pork skin. Hog Log. Frequently asked questions. No, you can't have an extension. here at Campus Radio. Just a reminder that if you have any interest in getting involved at the station, please do reach out. There really is a lot of airtime to fill and try as we might, we just can't fill it all. We're open to news reports, reviews and opinion pieces. Really just anything that will take up some dead air. Good night.
teams are reminded to have the time of their lives. Hawthorne on Two Point Radio. Today I balance two hats jauntily on my one singular head. My regular disc jockeying hat is joined by my occasional chef hat. Yes, I'll be taking you all over Two Point County as I recount my latest culinary travels when I set out to find the finest foods our great county has to offer. Just a hungry man in his hatchback. It's a tale as old as time. This is a test announcement, not a real announcement.
world is a lot like the real world. There are places, there are smells, there's a chance you'll get lost. After a series of wrong turns, now 60 miles off course, I was treated to the first food of my trip. A wandering puffed pastry and something I believe to be meat. The buttery sausage style matter mingled playfully with hints of pine from my air freshener. It was unexpected. It was dangerous. It was cold in the middle. Showering is technically but not socially optional. If you ask me, Hogsport boasts the finest milkshakes in Two Point County. 
at the Oily Cormorant. They'll serve you a traditional malt in an old leather boot and throw in a salt and vinegar egg. You just cannot beat it. Milkshakes are a great tradition. They're in our blood. In fact, I once received medical attention after enjoying a few dozen shakes and was told that my blood was over 60% ice cream. How we laughed. Unattended sandwiches will be eaten by me. What am I going to do with my life? I just don't know. Orb. Huh? What? Come to an Orb Foundation Learning Center and replace your mind with the power of the Orb. Oh, amazing. I'll do that then. Thanks. And education is priceless.
A huge fan of Yeti cuisine. Yes, our neighbors to the north really know their way around a kitchen. From stews and pickles to five tiered sandwiches, and of course, their pies. Cold hands make the boldest pastry, after all, and it is freezing up there. You really must try it. It's the food of the people, and those people are Yetis.
is a good time to relax and prepare for next year. Results are now available. No unauthorized panicking. when I arrived at the Royal Tumble Hotel. So much so that I took advantage of my kitchenette and feasted greedily on some toast. When I returned from a walk, I was stunned to find that all crumbage had been decrumbled. The bed was made and the toilet spotless. Every sign of life had been washed away. You've got to ask yourself, had I really been staying here? Indeed, do I exist at all? Lovely stuff! The more you revise, the longer you've been revising. Welcome new students. We're more afraid of you than you are of us. The timetable has now been published. Schedule your lives accordingly.
trip was all about regional delights and cultural differences. One man's casual horror is another's world-shattering epiphany. The people of Smogley have been crusting and dusting their fish for as long as anyone can remember. But at the recently opened What's the Batter, they use a unique cheesy gubbin crumb. Ho 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 ho! I can safely say that it was the cheesiest fish this DJ had ever eaten. <laughs> That's a winner!